Because usually they'll fly away if you get that close. Man, these Texas animals are the best. Hey! Wow. It's so pretty. Aww. Hey y'all, hey. What's going on? Hope you guys are doing well. We have a change of scenery just for a little bit because just need to get out the house, y'all. Like, you know, but thank God it's nobody around. It's super empty. I don't even know if y'all can hear me, but it's super empty. There's nobody around, as you guys can see. And if people come around, staying away from them, okay? So I don't know if you guys can hear me, but we are here in McAllen. There's a region in South Texas. I, can, I guess there's nobody's around. So if you guys are not familiar with South Texas, there's a region in South Texas called Rio Grande Valley. So also known as RGV. From what we've been told, it's super, super nice. And there's a lot to do, lots to offer. And so far, I'm very pleased. I don't want, you know, I want to speak too soon, but Lord's willing, if it be his will, not Corpus Christi, you know, we would love to be down here, but we wanted to come here just to check it out, see what is here to offer, you know, just to see for ourselves. And I think it's the perfect time because like I said, mostly everything's closed, but there are less people around and, you know, like I said, we just need to get out the house. We just get, it was getting a little overwhelming being stuck in the house. So we're here for a couple hours just to check it out and see what it is. And if you are from McAllen, Edinburgh, Mission, RGV, Hologen, <laughs> the whole South Texas region, let me know. And, you know, if there's anything that we need to check out, we will be back. So definitely let me know so I can take note of that. So yeah, they're leaving me behind, but so far it is really, really, really nice. And I'm, I'm impressed. So let me finish checking it out. I hope you guys are doing well. And let me put this mask back on. Bye -bye. So we are here in the car, just looking around. Oh, look at her face. Did you see her? Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's sleeping. So yeah, our babies are tired. They've been sleeping. And we're just riding around the car, just looking at the area. So this is Edinburgh. And so far, whoa, that is really nice in there. And this place is really nice like it's definitely definitely gives us that country feel and it's really nice so far so we're just driving around and that's pretty much all we're gonna be doing just riding around looking around seeing RGV and all that so so far the convention center area in McAllen was very very nice and now we're in Edinburgh like I said and so far it's pretty nice as well so yeah so we're just gonna keep touring around and staying away from people and keep checking out the area so I'll check in with you guys later
land for sale. But you wouldn't get all that back there, no, right? Just what you see. Just what's mine. Mm -hmm. What? Those are like half acre lots. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Those are pretty big. That, I mean, that's a decent sized lot. But not a decent size of them. Those double doors, like, yeah. we, we gotta have that on the next house. <laughs> wow. They still have their Christmas stuff up. I'm gonna need for them to take that down. <laughs> wow. The landscaping here is amazing. Yes, it is. Wow. So yeah, we are here in Harlingen and it's pretty nice, y'all. Pretty, pretty nice. So which one has been your favorite today? Which little area? Yeah. Harlingen. Harlingen, yeah. Yeah, McAllen, like the like downtown area that we saw was very nice. So it's a, it just feels so country like out here. And just, see, I'll show y'all the cornfields. <laughs> Just all that land and the beautiful flowers. Like it's, it's beautiful. And then the palm trees. And that's super nice. The camera's out of focus. I don't know what's going on. Okay, boom, there we go. So yeah, this place is pretty nice. And I just love the scenery. Like the scenery is very, very beautiful. Say to who we're about to head out and well we're gonna stop and walk around for a little bit just to stretch our legs before we get back on the road and yeah so our day trip to the valley it's a good one and stretch our legs um, everywhere's not open so that's why you barely see anybody there's barely anybody here but it is really nice this is the Rio Grande Valley premium outlets this is a nice outlet mall that I've ever seen so yeah but um big guys down there with the kids and ice cream just so that way they're not walking all around luck walking all around while well, there's less people here so yeah so this is really so this is really nice you guys you know I told you guys that our I told you that our goal is to see the big areas of Texas so we can check off Rio Grande Valley area off of our to-do list so we did have a trip to Austin but we had to cancel it because of COVID but I'm glad we just decided to come down for the day and spend a couple hours just driving around and seeing the area but now once we're leaving here, then we're gonna head back home to our house. Now I can say I've seen the Rio Grande Valley outlet malls and it's really, really nice. Even though it's empty, it's still nice. All right, so let me check out the store real quick and then I'll let you guys later. Hey, y'all, hey. So it's another day and I realized that I did not finish the vlog from our trip because we got in so late. But we didn't get in like super late. We got in like around 9.30, a little after 9.30. So we were just exhausted and tired from being in the car all day. Literally being in the car all day. That's their little desk over there while I'm in my office. I'm glad we did that because we've been wanting to check it out for a while but with everything going on of course we didn't want to risk anything but we just wanted to change the scenery just for a couple of hours of course with everything still going on I'm glad that it wasn't super crowded there wasn't a lot of people and we stayed in the car like what like eight and a half out of the ten that we were in the car but um but I'm glad we did it that way and the kids slept the majority of the time and it was just a good getaway I'm glad we did that and of course we were being safe protected sanitized and all that like we were strapped okay 
but um yeah but it's absolutely beautiful down there from what we've seen so like i said if you guys do live in the rgv area mcallen uh, brownsville or wherever let me know let me know if some things or places that we should check out because we are planning to go back and just check out everything else that we didn't see and everything any restaurants or anything to do you know post pandemic let us know so we can definitely check that out i have a friend that is from there and recently moved from there and she's been texting me different restaurants she was texting me different restaurants and different things to check out and everything so yeah yeah y'all know me i love seafood okay and if you don't know that you know that now and on our way home, I saw Papados. Like, I've been wanting to try Papados for a long time. So my friend, she raves about it all the time. Every time I Google it, I just like my mouth just water. When we fly home from San Antonio, there's one across from the airport. And I'm like, oh my God, like I want to eat. They're so bad. So y'all, we, so we were on our way home and I saw the sign. Like, I don't even know how I saw it on the highway, but I saw Papados on highway two. I was like, oh! So that's another, so that's a restaurant we are definitely eating when we go back there. So yeah, just let us know how it is. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I hope you guys are still staying safe. You know, with everything opening, I understand people are getting out the house. You know, it's going to be a little crowded. But I just tell y'all to, for one, just to pray before you go out the house. Pray for safety, pray for your health, and pray for the safety and health of others around you. Because you just never know. People just don't know that they have it so definitely distance yourself make sure you have wipes sanitizer all the necessities and also protect the kids as well at first they say oh kids won't get into like that but obviously there have been cases so you know you just got to be extra extra careful especially when it comes to our little humans and also our older people but you know anybody you know anybody at that we just have to be careful but just trust god and He'll take care of us. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Give us a big thumbs up and let us know what you think. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.